Hello friends, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Online. Today I will show you how to uh, make a daylight uh, lighting uh, also with rendering of course with the help of V-Ray. Um, in this uh, uh, daylight we will use uh, V-Ray uh, Sun and of course with uh, help of HDRI uh, for environment lighting. So let's get started. I'll, first of all I will go to perspective view and I'll have an overview what basically uh, we are going to do. Uh, these are the trees uh, uh, I have placed it. Uh, if you have not seen my previous tutorial of uh, uh, my night uh, lighting, so this is the same exercise what I have used in that tutorial. So if you want to see how to do a night lighting evening shot, so of course you can refer to my that tutorial. I'll go to uh, display and I'll just check it's a display as box so you can able to get these are the trees and this is the car and uh, of course uh, uh, basically uh, we are not going to use such a high rays trees for it basically it will make uh, your scene heavy so first of all what we'll do is uh, we'll make the X ref of course it is a box but still uh, if you press 7 on your keyboard it shows me your FPS is down by 42 so it's very bad so of course it should be on higher side so the best way to uh, do this I'll go to file save selected I'll say PG trees, PG underscore. Save as save. Save. I'm not sure. I have done save selected. Yeah, save selected. And uh, BG PG trees. I'll save it. Now, of course, I can all the way I can say hide this selection uh, the trees is not there I'll go to again file I'll go to reference I'll say ref xref objects oh, oh sorry I'll go to reference xref scene I'll say add I'll go to my pg trees I'll say open. Now they are back with the thing, but still uh, the scene is light and FPS is high enough to handle my uh, scene. So keep in mind if you have any such kind of uh, exterior which are trees are very high res, so of course you can do this option. This is very best option to do this. Now I'll set my camera first. I'll go to a top view. I'll go in camera and I'll say V-Ray camera. Physical camera. And I'll press C. And I can adjust my camera like this. Slightly I will go human eye view this way yeah. camera is selected and uh, the basic uh, thing I will uh, change it's fine it's fine I'll say white balance to neutral and uh, vignetting I basically don't uh, prefer to uh, set on this thing because I'll do in Photoshop uh, so we don't require this thing right now it makes slightly black tint on the render and uh, it's fine and 
my shutter speed I'll go to some around say 15 first because the shutter speed is so if you uh, come down with the shutter speed there is a brighter side of the image you can take more bright image because generally people don't um, uh, changes change the value over here but I do changes from my camera and do the lighting adjustment from the lights basically uh, uh, these are the styles and these are the preferences so if you uh, go with my style uh, you have to uh, like uh, uh, use this shut shutter speed and of course I, I, I just uh, ISO 200 it's the uh, best uh, parameters to start with and now I'll go to light severe light severe sun I'll start from say no Lately, I can do like this right click and select target I'll go to modify I'll adjust the intensity multiplier later on I'll do size multiplier it will give the nice shadow effect soft shadow effect so I'll go to size multiplier to 4 shadow subdivision also will increase with 6 and uh, tubidity uh, will go to 4 4 to 5 and uh, this is basically two is uh, if you if you increase this thing it will give the slight uh, evening effect uh, slight uh, evening uh, uh, light uh, reddish color in the color so if you increase if you want the haziness of the of the evening so of course you can go to five or six but I start with four and later on we'll see it this thing now I'll uh, just check or test my view how is uh, how what light intensity so I'll just pause my video and uh, just check it go to render setting and uh, I'll make this thing on and uh, I don't want image sampler don't want right now frame buffer it's very low show calculation phase on light cache maybe 200 would be fine to get fast results and I'll go to setting 32 is fine noise threshold 0.1 is also fine and generally uh, by default it's 1 and if you drop down to 0.5 it will give uh, very fast uh, render results but the quality will be not so good actually it's, it will be a bad but still uh, and for noise threshold uh, if this comes down the uh, we drastically drastically come down with the uh, speed of the rendering but it will show some grainy effects on the renders so but it doesn't matter to see the test renders so uh, I'll just hit my render now I'll pause my video so this is what I got with the render I have uh, paused uh, this uh, rendering because I don't want this type I just don't want to show you so this was a very high intensity light we are giving right now so in this thing we will improve two things first of all we will reduce the intensity that is the first thing second we will link this light uh, with sky material and of course we will add an SDRI to give a slight shade to it uh, of course it will give us some kind of uh, illumination light to this environment so it will add a realistic things so that's what um, I intentionally uh, done this render with this lighting so you will able to get to know how 
uh, we uh, are going towards the uh, uh, the way we want to go so i'll just close my this render uh, so uh, basically in next part uh, we will do all those things in corrections uh, what what i have uh, discussed right in now and uh, so i'll meet you in next part part 2 if you like my tutorial do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online um, thanks for watching my tutorial uh, i'll meet you in next tutorial thank you